Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm coming to you from Paris. If you didn't know, I just moved to Paris. My last video was my Paris moving vlog. Today is Saturday, and I got here not this past Wednesday, but the Wednesday before, and my mom actually came with me to help me move in. So as you can see in like the moving vlog, we have been doing a ton of stuff, like going to Ikea, going to like the bank to get my bank account, get my phone number, get my visa, all of that. And and now that we're kind of like settled with the apartment decoration, we are going clothes shopping, which I'm so excited about. We are headed out now. It's 9 a.m. and the store's open at 10. So first we're gonna have a nice breakfast together and then we're gonna hit Saint Germain for shopping. I'm very excited for this vlog. I'll take you along on shopping in Paris. We really have not done clothes shopping yet. We've really just been focusing on the apartment. We've gone to Ikea, Darty for like my vacuum cleaner. Muji had a lot of like apartment decoration stuff. But yeah, today is mainly just clothes. I'm focusing on clothes that I can wear to work. So like some plain shirts, some plain shorts that are not jean shorts, some nice pants, and then also like some Parisian classics, like a trench coat and a blazer. And then hopefully also some summer things I'll probably want to get if I find any like bathing suits and sundresses. A lot of people here wear long sundresses. So I have that on my list as something that I want to get. First, we are going to go to breakfast at the Narcisse Blanc Hotel, which is where her and my dad stayed the last time they came to Paris for their anniversary or my dad's birthday. I forget which one because they happened in the same year, but they stayed at Narcisse Blanc, which is a really nice hotel. And my mom and I actually went there last Sunday to use their spa. So I'm really excited to go have a nice sit down breakfast today. We don't do this every day. Usually we just go to a bakery, pick up a pain au chocolat or something. So I hope that you enjoy this video because I'm so excited to go shopping. If you do, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below because I respond to every single comment. And of course, subscribe to my channel because the Paris content has just started and there is going to be a ton of it. I'm so excited to share this Paris journey with you. Ignore my background because my apartment is not fully organized yet. This is what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing this black tank top from Garage. It's supposed to be really hot today. So I'm wearing this black tank top with my jean shorts. I think they're both from Garage, I think. And then I will be wearing my white running shoes. I actually got new, what are they, Nike Air Force Ones, but I'm gonna save them for my first day of work. And then I have my purse. It's actually a really big like crossbody purse, so it carries my camera, wallet, phone. It could carry my umbrella, but it's not gonna rain today, so I won't bring it. And yeah, that's the fit of the day, and hopefully today is a successful shopping day. Let's go! <laughs> a clothing store it's kind of like a pop-up with a bunch of small businesses not really anything for me but it was super cute and pretty so really fun to look at but now we're heading to Sarah
We just went into two shoe stores to try and find some black sandals because I literally had the most perfect black sandals since 2015, I want to say, like since grade nine. And they broke last summer and I can't find anything like them. They were so perfect and I just can't find anything like them. So that's one of our missions is to find black sandals to replace my old ones. I've been looking for a year and still haven't found any. Quick stop in Nagcon APC to get freshly squeezed orange juices because now we have a 30 minute walk to the Les Halles Mall. We're changing direction, we're quitting Saint Germain. Basically, we got to the Zara and it's a really, really tiny Zara. And this entire walk, we haven't really been seeing many stores to go into. And there's no H&M here, we knew that. And the two places that I wanna go to the most are Zara and H&M. So we are going to the Les Halles Mall. I don't know if that's its exact name, but we've been there before. That's where we went to Muji to get a lot of apartment stuff. That's where we got our phone plans. There's a Zara there, H&M, Bershka, Uniqlo, Muji, and some like little boutiques. So we're walking 30 minutes now across the Seine to the Les Halles Mall, which is where I wanted to go in the first place because it has everything. My mom wanted to shop outdoors and walk outdoors instead of in a mall, but we're not really finding much in the saint germain area. So on we go. been looking for a picture to cover the frame above my bed because it came with the apartment and it's not really for me and we keep seeing this brand image republic in like other stores and now we just passed the image republic like the actual store so let's see if there's anything Samaritaine. It's a huge, huge like department store. It's super fancy inside. I went last summer because my friend's mom recommended that I check it out. I'm so happy that I saw it, but I can't really afford anything in there. Okay, my mom has never been in, so we're gonna pop in to see what it looks like. Look at these birds sunbathing. What a life. This brand has these really gorgeous, like huge books about like different places and they're really pretty and I've been thinking about maybe getting the Paris one for my coffee table because there's just like really pretty pictures inside all of these. The Paris one's like a different style. Maybe I can open it for a sec. I want to go to the Amalfi Coast so bad. Yeah, these books are really, really nice, but they're 95 euros, which is even more in Canadian dollars, so I have to think about it.
for lunch at Paha Didi Fui. It's this really, really, really good place. It's always busy. We went here the last time that we went to the Les Al Mall and it was so good. Like I swear I could come here every day and get something new every day. They have so much food, so many drinks and it's so good. Like our lunch was so good last time. So we stopped here again just after Uniqlo and then after I think we're gonna go to Zara. But it's like two o'clock right now. So we're eating before we do more shopping. That looks. I bought a little salad, which tasted so good last time. French fries, spicy mayo. This pita is pastrami with fondue cheese and honey mustard. And then this one is smoked salmon and cream cheese. We have made it to the mall, and our first stop is. This H&M is huge and women clothing is only like the top floor and there's four floors total and just the women part is huge. the haul portion of this video. I hope that you enjoyed the vlog part. I had so much fun vlogging my shopping day. I had a really fun shopping day, got so many great things. And now I'm gonna show you exactly what I got from each store. And yes, it has been two months since I've been shopping. So to make up for that, I'm also gonna include some of the things that I've gotten since this shopping day because I have gone shopping just a couple more times in Paris. So I'll show you what else I got for the summer and let's just get into it. Starting off with Uniqlo. I got such good things at Uniqlo because they definitely have have, you know like more mature clothes and that's what I'm trying to get into now that I'm like working and kind of being an adult and trying so the first thing that I got well this is actually not from Uniqlo this is from the store Comptoir des Cotonniers never heard of it but they had like a little pop-up within Uniqlo and so we got like our own separate bag for this dress I think we got some sort of coupon code from the store oh and we like got to skip the line for the change room because if you had an item from the pop-up shop you could skip the line to the change room so they're having like a very cool event I guess within Uniqlo and I actually really liked one of their dresses so I got 
got this long black dress. It's actually not that long. They did have a long version, which I think is the one that I tried on. And I really liked it. But then my mom found a shorter version. And like, even though the style in Paris is to wear long dresses, I prefer short dresses. Like I do love myself a long dress, but I definitely have not completely gravitated towards long dresses. I still like short dresses. So I tried on the long dress. I really liked it. But then when I found the short dress or when my mom found the short dress, I kind of liked this one better. But I have been wearing it so much. Like I cannot tell you how many times I've worn this dress because it's just like so perfect can be worn for any occasion and it is like probably the most Parisian dress that I have so it looks like this it has like a little v-neck and it has kind of like short sleeves that kind of puff out a bit and then it has buttons going all the way down the dress and then it has a nice little skirt and this is such like a flowy airy type dress so cute I've been wearing it everywhere to work to walk around to go shopping because it's really just like you know a black dress that you can wear everywhere. This next dress is actually from Uniqlo and it's a green I feel like this is definitely like a type of green, maybe like forest green. It's a green t-shirt dress and I was really on the hunt for dresses because people wear dresses so often here and I don't have that many casual dresses. So I was really happy to find this t-shirt dress it is obviously so comfortable because it's a t-shirt dress. There are actually pockets in this dress which is amazing. Super cute super comfortable and I can wear it for so many things. Next from Uniqlo I got a black trench coat. This is so hard to show you on camera, but I did try it on in the vlog. But I got myself a black trench coat because that is like a Parisian staple. Needed to have it in my wardrobe. So I picked up this trench coat from Uniqlo. It literally still has the tags on it because I have not worn it because it's summertime. But it was really cute when I tried it on in the store. Just a black trench coat. Has a collar here. Pretty long sleeves. It's pretty long trench coat too because I think trench coats are meant to be long. And it has like the, what's this called? Belt. It has like buttons going down as you can see here feels like very nice quality haven't really worn it because it's the summer but I'm excited to wear it when the weather gets cooler probably at the end of fall and of course winter then I got a black blazer from Uniqlo black blazer black blazer black blazer from Uniqlo I feel like again this is like a staple Parisian style thing that I needed in my wardrobe it has a collar and then it has sleeves that I've rolled up has a pocket here so I'm really happy to have a blazer and start dressing more like a Parisian Moving on to H&M, the first thing that I got is this black skirt. You saw me trying it on in the back of the store because the line for the changing rooms was like an hour to two hours long. So I got this skirt. It's a really, really long skirt, like goes all the way to my ankles. And this was kind of like my compromise for choosing the short black dress from Uniqlo is I at least got like a long black skirt because people here are just like wearing so many like long things, like long skirts, long dresses, and I wanted to fit in. So I got this black skirt and I've honestly worn it many times when you know I want to look like a Parisian. I wear this black skirt with like a little white top and it's super comfortable. It has like an elastic waistband and then the skirt itself is so flowy, very airy so even though it's a long skirt, I'm very comfortable in it in the summertime. Like it's not too hot. From H&M, I also got this tank top. I think I tried on the black one in the vlog but then I ended up getting the white one so it's just a tank top that looks like this at the collar. It's very very like ruched as you can see here and then tank top sleeves and then it's quite long like it definitely goes over the start of my bottoms it's kind of like layered so it is a thicker tank top as you can see like the fabric is very thick but it's super cute I've definitely worn this a couple times this summer and yeah I love it I just like put on some shorts and call it a day then the last thing that I got from H&M are these gray shorts I was really on the lookout for some professional looking shorts because before for this I only had like jean shorts and I definitely could not wear that to work or like out to a nice dinner and it's so hot in the summer so I really wanted to have some options for bottoms that were not just like dresses and skirts so I'm so happy with the shorts that I got on this shopping trip because they have all looked so good so I got this pair of gray shorts from H&M they're perfect you can wear like a white top or a black top with this this is the back then moving on to Zara I got two more pairs of like professional looking shorts so I got this pair of white shorts from Zara. They are super comfortable. This is what they look like in the back. These shorts are just like the perfect like professional style that I was looking for and they're super comfortable. And then of course I had to get the same pair in black. These are just staple neutral colors. I can make any outfit with these shorts so very happy with them. And then from Zara I actually got a little purse. My mom and I saw this and we were both like that is so cute and would be so perfect if I'm ever in a situation where I don't have to carry a lot of things. It's this gorgeous lilac 
purple color. It has a gold zipper down the front and then it also has a pretty long strap so you can wear it cross body or you could carry it like this. And if I open it up, this is what it looks like inside. So it's really not big, but it's super cute when you don't need anything big. And then from Muji, I got this black t-shirt. It's super comfortable, super basic. Gotta love it. Okay, now here's my little treat for you. I'm gonna include some of the things that I picked up while shopping in Paris since that shopping trip because it has been two months and you deserve it. The first thing that I'm gonna show you is this dress that I'm absolutely obsessed with. I finally got the long dress that I was looking for and it was definitely worth the wait. This dress is from And Other Stories. It's this really cute boutique. It's kind of like a Zara, but like a bit girlier, I would say. And look at this dress. The pattern is absolutely stunning and it's a really like long dress. So I love wearing this like to go out to dinner and feel kind of like fancy and Parisian. So it is kind of like one of those like wrap dresses. So I put it on here and then down here I have this strap and you have to like wrap it around Around and then tie it into a bow. I walked into the store and this is the first thing that I saw and I was like, I need that. And I tried on like seven dresses. This is the only one that I got. And then as I said in the video, I was looking for some bathing suits, but I didn't find any on that day that we went shopping. But I did go shopping maybe like two weeks later. I did a vlog of it on my TikTok if you want to go watch that. And I got some bathing suits. The first one is from Princess Tam Tam. Random little boutique, but they had this gorgeous royal blue bathing suit with ruffles. It is is so cute. I actually posted an Instagram picture in this one and it's just such a nice bathing suit. You can feel the high quality of it and I got the matching bottoms so I have been loving this bikini set. Then I went to Calzedonia which I think is a swimsuit brand all around Europe and I got this bright pink bathing suit. This one also I love the color. It's kind of like this type of material bathing suit. It's just a little triangle. Got the matching bottoms of course and then the last bathing suit that I got was also from Calzedonia. This one's like a very pale sky blue just a little triangle very comfortable and then of course I got the matching bottoms which are kind of like that like V style you know where you like put it high on your hips and it makes you look a little snatched on this day that I went shopping I also went to the store called Pimpkey to try and find some bathing suit it's like pinky but like with an M and I tried on like 12 bathing suits and hated them all but I found myself some shorts so these are a bright hot pink pair of shorts and they're very stretchy very comfortable Definitely a casual pair of shorts, but I thought that they would be like a fun color for the summer. I've worn these shorts with like a white tank top on top. Very cute, very casual, probably a little more touristy than Parisian, but look at that color. I could not get them. And then the last thing that I've gotten in Paris is a pajama set from Princess Tam Tam, which is where I got the royal blue bikini. So I picked up this PJ set that is literally the softest thing that I felt in my life. So this is what the top looks like. As you can see, it's just like so pretty. So it has tank top straps that are adjustable and then lace in the front. Super flowy and airy and light which is perfect for summer. And then of course I got the matching bottoms. So this is what they look like. They're very stretchy. And then they also have lace at the bottom here. I love this pajama set. So that's the end of the haul. That is everything that I've gotten in Paris since moving to Paris on I think this comes from three different shopping trips. This video was so much fun and I'm so excited for for the Paris content that is coming very soon. I have so many ideas. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok to stay up to date with my life in real time. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below because I respond to every single comment and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.